Hi guys, um, just going to show you what we're going to be building, building today. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, using PDI, I pulled down it, uh, the uh, plugin that's uh, available online, and you can buy this plugin. There is a fracture limit to what you can do, um, but you can use the free version to get some fractures going, and there's a little workaround to add a few more fractures as well, uh, just while you're evaluating it. It's totally legal and above board. Um, I should say that I did start this tutorial about an hour ago and the area that you can see shattering there was um, about half an hour's worth of uh, videoing which um, my screen capture software decided to crash on me uh, so that was a lot of fun but what I've decided to do is to keep that fracture going there um, and then this section of road coming up here we're going to fracture uh, so you can see my mythology uh, for, I'm just going to forget that word because I can't talk today um, for creating that and it's all fairly straightforward obviously this is all very basic at the moment um, we haven't got in the much detail at all but it's a good foundation and a, and a start for um, this kind of effect um, so let's <laughs> crack on that's a terrible joke wasn't it but I'll grab a bit of humour so um, the camera's going this way so we're going to crack this um, bit of geometry here and I explain everything as we go okay so to create the geometry um, firstly what I should say was um, I've got I've got the area that we cracked so it's basically just a, a cube that had been uh, scaled up and shattered with uh, rigid bodies created and to each side I've got two passive um, rigid bodies which uh, PDI calls static same thing um, underneath I've got some more static rigid bodies which um, just animate outwards along the scene which allows these rigid bodies to drop down and at the bottom I've got what I'm calling um, a catcher which just um, enables the rigid bodies to stop here um, so that we could still see through if we wanted to if we had the camera at a different angle we could raise this up a little bit so we could still see the debris under there but more than anything it was just so that these rigid, bod rigid bodies didn't keep uh, falling off into infinity which is just going to um, more calculation time um, all, the f uh, all the transforms um, once these were created initially were frozen and all history deleted and uh, quite importantly uh, everything had been UV mapped and textured first because going back and doing that afterwards can be problematic so let's have a look at this one I'm just going to go in and modify I'm going to freeze the transformations hit G to do it on all of them and I'm just going to grab all of them and delete the history so with that done we can start some shattering. Actually, I'm just going to create some more uh, passive regions underneath first. I'm going to extend this box also. And when you've extended something or moved the transforms in any way, whilst you're using PDI, you need to update the transforms. Um, like so and then this will stay where it is if you don't do that it will revert when you rewind your scene it will revert back to uh, where it was so we've got this let's just select this and this and create um, stack bodies out of them um, I'm just gonna set that to mesh that's that done and I'm just gonna grab these two guys because they haven't got any animation on them I'm going to control D bring them along here and control D again I'm just going to create a few sets of these so we've got a little a few more options to enable us to animate some of these out of the way because these essentially what's holding the road the road in place and when they get pulled away that's when it enables the rigid bodies to be taken over by the gravity. 
So I'm just going to select all of these. Freeze the transforms. And let's delete the history of them. Also, and I'm going to go into the uh, create rigid body options box, and I'm going to make these static and mesh. So they're ready for us also. So the next step is to shatter the road itself. Now here's the thing, because I've been already been shattering this um, object here, the free uh, trial evaluation version of PDI will only allow one shatter per session. So just whilst you're evaluate, evaluating, the way to get around that is to save your scene, shut down Maya, reopen Maya, and then you'll be allowed to uh, shatter some more again which is a pain and you shouldn't be doing that you should be buying the plugin yes so should I but I'm evaluating it right so the way that I created this uh, particular crack um, as you can see it's kind of centric around the middle um, so that is by creating a curve first of all so let's just go into the top view I'm just going to go into wireframe and go to the CV curve tool and I'm just going to create a crack ish okay and essentially what this is doing is going to be creating uh, uh, an animated motion path for um, PDI will assign a passive object, sorry, a kinematic object, to the beginning of, of this path, and it will um, animate along that path and shatter your road for you. But I deleted mine afterwards, after, after it actually created the shower, because what it also does is creates the shower kind of centric to the uh, path that you've created. Let's just have a look at that. So I've selected the curve. Sorry about that, that's a text message coming through. Selected the curve, selected the geometry. And in the shatter style, we can go in and there's a few options in here. You can see we've got splinters and stuff and path based, which is what we want. This is the maximum number that you're going to be allowed to uh, shatter in the trial version. Can select the path and we can see that it's uh, selected our curve shape one. Well, I just want to double check. Yes, because I did delete my other curve earlier, so this would still be called one. I want to create rigid bodies from the fragments and I do want to assign a new material to the faces. Okay, and we're just going to hit shatter it. And there we go, that shattered pretty quickly. And if we have a little look under here we can see that this sphere is animated along this motion path yeah and when we hit play it's going to uh, run in the uh, X direction and it's going to be used to shatter it so if I just show you how that works obviously we're running a bit slow because I've got another bunch of dynamics going on behind us so yeah, you get the point. Um, and you can use that for all sorts of interesting animation, but I want to create my own, so I'm going to get rid of the curve, but it has created the uh, the shape that I want along the road. So if I play now, not a whole lot is going to happen, a little a tiny little drop. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is um, look at the animation from the beginning and then start to retime based on that explosive sort of uh, scenario going on up there where we want to uh, start creating some more action here. So the camera's pulling back, we've got an explosion there happening. 
And I think about now is where I want something to be going on around here. Now again, if I wanted to create some more detail in here, which I do and I would, um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not. But if I did, um, again, we could uh, save the file and shut down Maya, open it back up again, and uh, create another shadow there. But it's going to take you like forever to do that with all of it. So you might as well just buy it. It is pretty cheap. Uh, let's just check that out. Actually, over here, video out for Maya. Plug in. Pull down it dot com. It's purchase. Don't want anything for Max. Thank you very much. Maya. So, um, just single license for Maya. Covers all these versions. 395 euros. It's not the end of the world, to be honest. Um, at all. If you've ever used uh, Maya built in rigid bodies, you'd know that this kind of thing would be a nightmare. The simulation times would be uh, all over the shop. So, let's create our uh, exploder. I've just been using spheres to do that. I'm just going to bring this about there, and I'm going to work it backwards. So I'm going to Shift W to keyframe that there. keyframe now I think I'm gonna drag this forward a little bit more okay so we go back into the PDI menu and we're gonna create a kinetic body uh, kinematic should I, should I say and that's gonna be used to create a hole um, that's gonna be used as a moving passive object which is gonna come through and cause some damage here. So let's go into the camera. I'm just going to rewind and I'm going to do a little play blast. I'm just going to pause it while it's doing that. Uh, that's finished now so if we just rewind and play that we can see what we've got going on. So that's the first animation I did, and here's the second one just happening here. We've got some more to do around here. I think I'd probably want to bring the camera down a little bit more. Just to get us a bit closer to the action. So, camera's here. Just going to pull that down. Around about here. Can I do? And I want to create something happening here. Maybe um, everything's going to start falling away around here at this point. So let's look at doing that. So the way I'm going to do that is to animate out these uh, passive regions so let's just pull back a few frames I'm going to shift W pull in a few frames pull that out, I don't want to pull it out too far because if I pull it out much further than this if you think about um, pivots etc we don't want all of these edges to fall down just the middle parts again if we had more shards to play with all would be good Shift W again, and pull that out. Not as much. Okay, okay. Now I'm just going to do, I'm just going to save the file. 
and I'm going to do another play blast. So, play blast finished, didn't take long, just a couple of minutes. We can see we're starting to get some falling away, not nearly enough. Um, and I think I want to be a little bit closer to the explosions when they're happening, so I'm just going to retime the camera a little bit. So I'd quite like to be a lot closer here, so let's just make the camera go on for a bit longer. Yeah, that's better. And sod it, let's just use the camera. Um, not sure if this is opening up far enough for my liking, to be honest. I think I'm probably going to animate some of this. Let's just check where this sphere is coming up. Sphere comes up there. So let's pull away these passive objects as well. Shift W, pull them out a bit. W and I think I'm going to create another explosion around here. Let's just go to our perspective camera because it's a bit naughty to be used now. Film camera. Let's just look at some of the geometry. Obviously, if I smash it up through here, we've got some large chunks which are going to look a bit odd. So, I might like to do it around here actually, where we've got some smaller areas. Let's just make this sphere a bit smaller. Yeah, cool. Just going to delete the history on that. Save the scene. When does this sphere come up? It comes up around there, the camera's about there now. So about there is where I want it to finish. Let's put it down. Yep. And so with this we're just gonna make another kinematic object out of it. <clears throat> and I made that a hole as well. And we'll see how we get on. Just like that. Okay, close. Just gonna do another play blast. We're gonna pause again. So back. And that just took about two minutes to uh, play blast. Let's just have a look and see what we got. So that was quite cool. Again, we need like a 50 fold amount of more detail into this scene. And then we'd want some secondary particle effects, tiny little chunks as well. Um, and then we'll take it to post, put a whole load of shake on it, motion blur, um, and just comp in some live action elements as well, like some shot smoke, etc. Sparks and all that kind of thing. And then with the texture of the sides, perhaps we could have some kind of rolling earth going on. Could perhaps do that with some deformers if there were some trees in there. Maybe with a, some kind of end cloth set up on the leaves or, or that kind of thing. But again, I just wanted to show you something, you know, what you could, what you could, what you could create, and it's a sort of a, ba a base foundation for that. So uh, yeah, go and have a go at doing this, guys. We could have a car in there, or um, someone running towards us, or maybe um, maybe we're looking in the wind mirror of a car. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, take care of yourselves and look after each other. Thanks.